Okay, we're back, everybody. Uh, we're going to switch to Navisworks. And I know I have an earlier video on sectioning, but I want to dedicate this, this, this uh, video to our sectioning tools and how they work for the model we've created. So it allows us to create building sections directly through the model. So we can find a sectioning tool on the underneath viewpoint tab on the ribbon and clicking on enable sections. Now when you select it, it'll cut a section directly halfway through the building. Okay? So now you can see this if we move the cursor up to the corner of the view cube or shift it around. It's like this is going to be a view, and what I'm going to do with this view, because I might need it later on, I'm going to go in here, yep, and I want to select the viewpoint. I want to say this viewpoint right here, and I'll call this uh, building section. That's for later on. So let's move on here. So I want to take this back to the home view. And uh, as you can see, we've gone through the whole section of this building, right through the roof, the foundation we created, the floor. So there's our section. Okay. So let's go back to our home view and let's continue here. So now we can adjust the sectioning by clicking on the move tool. Okay. Sorry. Point. So let's go back. I'm sorry. I'm going to go back into my sectioning tools because I went out of it to do that viewpoint. So here, there's an uh, enable sectioning. Oh, I'm going to enable it again. And now we select the move tool here. So what we'll do is we'll select the blue arrow and change it to yellow. And while holding the mouse button down, you can pull this section from side to side to expose more or less of the uh, of the building section. So, so once you have it the way you like it, the next thing you should do is to try to create another plane. So the plane is actually what cuts through the section. So right now we're only working with one plane and it's called current plane one. Now let's activate plane two. Select where it has current plane one and click the light bulb next to plane two. And that turns plane two on. Okay, so select the, the control, and then you can shut this and move it down. So this works good for uh, like doing working with ceilings, just the ceiling. So we may not want to use that plane. So maybe we want to use a plane to adjust from the top. We can just say where it says the name of the plane, alignment, and you can go bottom. So this many planes to the line to the bottom. We can change that. And we can pick, say, let's select the top. Now it's cutting down from the top of the model instead of from the bottom, see? We can pull this down to see less or more of the building. Or we can see more if we want to see. Now another option we have, we can rotate this now from the set uh, around like a circular shape. So what you can do is basically go, say where it says rotate, 
I click on one of these colors. See? Pretty neat, huh? Just holding the mouse button down. You can just rotate around the access point. So it's, it's possible for us to cut this building at any angle we like. We can move the planes around, up and down. We can rotate it. We can do a lot of different things. Now another option we have is fixed selection. This means that we have something selected, our plane will try to fit that entire object. See? So if I select on the arrow here, and so if I say I highlight this this door, and I'll do a fit selection, and the model adjusts it, adjusts itself to just that door. So you see what I'm saying? So. Now another way we can do these sections, we can go with the box. See where it says planes and click on box. Now we have a box surrounding this one door. So we can select it. So we can have multiple items selected as well. We just want to use this door for an example here. So, to make an adjustment to this, we have a couple of things we can do. We can scale this. We can actually scale the box. See? It allows us to scale this one up or down. And depending on the reference plane set up, we may be able to move it another direction, left to right or up and down. So. so these are, see, we can really stretch this guy out too if we like. And this could be another viewpoint if you want to use it. So you can. So now let's go uh, and look at back to our say we want to just turn turn sectioning off where it has enable sectioning you can just click it and you back to where we started basically. And then you want to section back. Um, now we can go to our same viewpoint, and that's our building section. So this is uh, a little more in depth of building sections and Navis work. So thanks for watching this video, and uh, we'll move on to the next video. Any questions or comments, please put in the comment section. Bye.